with Jesus support in March during Pride Month. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I hope all is well. Um, as we embark on the ending of another Pride Month, another year of Pride Month, I just wanted to do this video. Um, there seems to be some uh, mis misconstrued construed messages about people who don't support uh, Pride Month or people who don't uh, participate in Pride Month. Um, we know that this is a month in which uh, people in the LGBTQ plus community uh, like to march and come together and support each other's actions and support each other's lifestyles. Now. Um, there was an incident that took place about five months ago. Um, there was a hockey player in the NHL. There was a day in which I guess uh, the players had to um, to or wanted to uh, show their support for for Pride Month with wearing their Pride colors on their jerseys. Um, there were a few. Um, NHL players who did not want to participate due to religious reasons. Ivan Provorov, he, he made a statement um, as to why he did not want to, to participate in this activity with the rest of the NHL. Let's, let's take a look. I respect everybody and I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. Now here, he's saying that he wants to stay true to himself and his religion. Let's hear what some people have said about this. Well, but let's hear one broadcaster, one anchor who was very disgusted in his decision. Let's listen to this. I think you find the Flyers a million dollars for this. I'm not kidding. Figure this out and stop offending people on nights where it's not about that. It's supposed to be about inclusivity. The National Hockey League need to attack this and figure this out. Because what I heard last night was offensive and didn't make any sense. The National Hockey League today needs to find that organization a million dollars and reevaluate how they support gay rights. Because that is insulting. That is the number one trending topic in Canada. That is insulting what happened in Philadelphia. And if the NHL is serious about this, they say they are. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see how serious they are today. Okay, so, so this anchor is saying that this team needs to be fined for their player not p participating in this activity. Participating in something that he believes is not... Uh, for his religion, something that he believes believes is against God's plan and against God's will, um, something that he believes strongly about in his faith, due to his faith. Let's go. Well, well, well. We have to to understand that we should all respect each other. He's not saying that he didn't love them. He didn't care for them. He didn't say that he hated anyone. He didn't say that that he hopes that they get hurt or things like that. He never said that about about the people who who celebrate Pride Pride Month. He never said that. He just said that he's not going to participate in it due to his beliefs. And he wanted to stand up for his beliefs and stand up for God. Let's go to a scripture. Um, let's go to Matthew the fifth chapter, 11th verse, and it reads, God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember that ancient prophets who 
I'm sorry, were persecuted in the same way. So here he was he is standing up for God. He is standing up for his beliefs, right? God is saying here, when we do that, there are people who are gonna persecute you, ridicule you, uh, um, speak evil about you, and possibly and possibly speak death on you because of your beliefs and your faith, right? So we see here that this hockey player, Ivan, is is not want to wear this. Now, I, I want to ask, why is it that when people are against something that they feel is sin in their beliefs, why is it that... Um, why is it that they are persecuted for this or we're or we're wrong or we're called or they're called a homophobe just because they don't support what other people support this is what is called freedom right we're free to believe in what we want to believe and we're free to act in a way that that we want to act as long as it's not hurting anyone physically um, he's not saying that, that he wants these people hurt. He's not saying he doesn't care for them. He, now with me, in my line of work, I work with all different types of people. Black, white, Spanish, doesn't matter the race, heterosexual, homosexual, uh, trans. Uh, I work with them all. I support them within the realm of my job, right? I support them within my job description and what I'm, I'm supposed to uh, supply them with according to my role and according to my profession. Now, that doesn't mean that I agree with their lifestyle, but just because I don't agree with their lifestyle, it doesn't mean that I'm going, that I'm not going to support them or that I'm not going to love them because look, I work with people who commit adultery. I work with people who who are drunkards. I support the people who commit adultery. I support <coughs> excuse me. I support those who are drunkards. I support those who live a life that is not pleasing to God. I support them within the realm of my work, right? Now I'm not saying, or he's not saying that he doesn't love them because we're told to love everyone and to love our enemies, right? But it doesn't mean that we have to support everything that they do, that everyone does. I have friends and I don't support everything that they do. I have family members. I don't support everything that they do. Now, we may have a conversation. It all depends on the nature of our relationship we may have a conversation as to why I don't support them in things that, that they do. And sometimes they don't support me in things that I do, right? And I don't, and sometimes I don't, there's times in which I don't support the, the things that I'm doing, the struggle that I have. I don't, I don't support it. If I have a struggle with, let's say, um, profanity, I'm not going to come here and say, yeah, profanity is good you know it's okay to do it no because it's not okay because of what we believe because of what I do believe in so I want to go to another clip Adam Van Corridan he he's a politician um, uh, I'm from Canada <clears throat> excuse me and <clears throat> and he's a former Olympian and kayaking um, so I just want you to hear what he said. So let's talk about it. Unfortunately, some NHL players have recently decided not to wear pride-themed warm-up jerseys before their game's pride nights and the league's Hockey is for Everyone campaign, saying it's contrary to their religious beliefs. A rainbow jersey, Madam Speaker, a simple but compassionate sign of solidarity and a way to say hockey is a sport for everyone. You matter and you're welcome here. So while there's been a lot of progress, it's clear that there's still a lot of work to be done. Madam Speaker, I grew up Catholic and I attended Sunday school and cate catechism. And if I know one thing about Jesus Christ, it's that he loved everybody. And he'd be at the front line marching in pride parades if he were alive today. 
Sport is for everyone, Madam Speaker, and to every young player out there, I want you to say this. Regardless of your race, gender, or sexuality, hockey is a sport for you. So we see here that he was speaking about the hockey players who were not in support of the Pride Month jersey, the rainbow colored jerseys. Um, so, and he also said that Jesus would be in the front line if, if he were alive today. Well, for one, he is alive. He's still alive. He is alive. He's in heaven. He's in the kingdom right now. He is, he is preparing um, us for the kingdom. Amen. Um, he is well and alive today. He's, he's not on earth, but he is alive. Um, but he is saying that Jesus would be the first one supporting the LGBTQ plus community and marching with them in the front line. Um, he says that he, he, he loves everyone. Yes, he does. But it doesn't mean that he's going to support everyone's decisions. It doesn't mean that he's going to go against his word. It doesn't mean that he is going to accept the things that are wrong and that are against what he taught, right? So, um, he's wrong at this. Well, well I'm going to say this. He may be in the march. He may be in the front line. I don't know if he's going to be marching. I don't know if he's going to be marching with him, but he will be in the front line and he probably will be turned around and speaking preaching the gospel to everyone that is participating in this pride parade. Um, so let's go over to the scripture. Let's see what he feels about uh, pride. Let's, let's see how he feels about LGBTQ+. Plus. Well, first we have, to, we, we have to realize that all of the scripture is inspired by God and breathed out by God, right? And we know that uh, Jesus said that um, uh, those who believe in the Father also believe in me, right? So let's go uh, to the scriptures and see what the scriptures say about pride and how Jesus will feel about pride. Come on. Leviticus 18.22 It says, Do not practice homosexuality. Having sex with another man as with a woman is a detestable and some may say that this is of the old law of the Old Testament and things like that but let's go into the New Testament and see what it says about uh, pride um, let's see what Jesus feels about pride because we have to realize that uh, you know all the scriptures point to Jesus all the scriptures are inspired uh, by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit comes once we believe in Jesus. Amen. So let's see what it talks about. Let's go to Romans, the first chapter, the 24th through, through the 28th verse. Therefore, God gave them over in, in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for, for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with, them, with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. So, so we see here that we, that Paul is talking about how um, there was sexual desires, sexual immortality, men sleeping with men, women that were sleeping with women, women that were sleeping with women, and it was unnatural. So the natural way was for man to be with woman. And for for the woman 
to leave the household to join the man and become one flesh as marriage in marriage you know to become one jesus would not uh be in the front line marching and supporting the pride parade yes he loves everyone but he would not be supporting their lifestyle because it is because it goes against his word um so i just wanted to speak on that um i know that this is pride month we're coming to the end just wanted to let everyone know that just just because we're not in agreement with someone's lifestyle or we don't want to support someone's lifestyle it doesn't mean that we hate them it doesn't mean that we want the worst for them it doesn't mean that we um, uh, don't want anything to do with them it doesn't mean that we won't support them in other areas that doesn't support their lifestyle um, it just means that we don't believe in what they believe in and we have and due to our faith we uh, are against it we are, we are against the sin we feel like it's sin or they feel as far as the as the uh, as the player he feels that it's sin and he's not here to support sin but he is here to support those who are living in sin to support them in any way that he can to help them um, um, to help them in any capacity that is possible you know um, but he but we are not here to or God is or God Jesus is not here to support he would not support uh, something that is sin according to him and according to his word amen god bless you all i hope all is well be safe please like subscribe and share if you want to god bless be safe